the secret to making lasting changes. Think you can't change? Many of us already know that we need to improve our state of well-being in order to extend our lives as we age. Making changes is traditionally difficult, but the good news is that it's never too late to make changes for the better. The first step is to understand what's important to you, and then determine the choices and decisions that represent where you want to be. Maybe you want to start a new career, lose weight, stop smoking, or start exercising. Whatever the change is, be sure you understand why you want to make the change. Take a moment to think about a time in your life when you made a successful change or developed a new habit. What was your motivation for the change? What was your attitude at the time? What obstacles or barriers did you have to overcome? Your level of readiness to change will determine how successful you are and how much time it will take. Once you make the decision to change, you must practice that new behavior one day at a time until it becomes a habit, a lasting change. Embracing the concept of change is a big thing, because interestingly, many people think they don't have a choice when it comes to change. Why? For some it's fear, guilt, love, pain, time management. What motivates one person may not be the same thing that gets another person to act. Everyone reacts differently to changes, whether voluntary or mandatory. To start making a change, let go of certain assumptions or ways of doing things, to make room for new ideas. Work on this one day at a time until you feel comfortable. This often comes into play when I work with sedentary people to increase their activity level, people who work a lot and don't have a lot of time to exercise. One of my clients' complaints was, I don't want to take an hour or 30 minutes to walk. My solution was to suggest several two-minute intervals that would equal 30 minutes throughout the day, just stand up, walk around and visit people throughout the office, for example. The result was successful. She exercised and actually became more sociable as a result. Once she became comfortable with walking, I got her up to 10-minute intervals three times a day. Now she's walking 30 minutes at one time and enjoying it. This all took place over the course of a few months. To make a lasting change, you start wherever you are and stretch a tiny bit more each time. If you fall off the wagon or experience resistance, identify the cause or circumstances, who you were with, where you were, or your emotional state. The key is to get up and get back on the path again. You may go back and forward a few times because making a lasting change is hard. Your level of readiness to change will determine how successful you are and how much time it will take. But you need to be ready, able and willing to make change happen.